Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. My name is Brett Douglas. I'm Stephen Platinum. We're known as the Truth Hurts. And yeah. Stephen, I got to throw it to you. You got a tap dance in the dance. So we had a tap dancer from New Zealand. I know that. Open the show, really interactive, really cool. But here's what's interesting about tap dancing. Well, at least I find it very interesting. There are actually very few uniquely American origined uh, art forms. Jazz is one of them. Um, and another is tap dance. Tap dance, it was invented in the United States, but yet you got some dirty Kiwi. Whoa. No Kiwi. Coming from New Zealand, <laughs> making us look bad by throwing the tap dancing in our face and being good looking. Really, Not, good I'm looking. from India, good looking, but good looking nonetheless. It's actually a good thing he's not from India because then his never mind. Yo, oh, gosh. Well, I'll say, Did you I'm, know where I was going with that? No, but you, this is the truth hurt side. This is not the piece of love. Oh, this is the truth hurt side. Then I'll say it. So, Hi. where, what country do you guess has the smallest average penis? China. It is not China. It is India. Ooh, Jay Bang is not packing. Wait, sorry. That was really inappropriate. Oh, there's kids. But they don't know packing or Jay Bang. They know <laughs> what a penis is. Okay. <laughs> well. That's uh, anyway, so, but okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he took an American art form really went all out with it danced unfortunately to the greatest showman which you know how i feel about that but he got four yeses i gotta admit i would probably give him a yes too just because he's a tap dancer i don't know how far he'll go though like i was saying uh on the patreon i don't see america voting for a tap dancer i could see the judges maybe putting him through one more time um but really do you really want to i i, I kind of want to arch you this and just uh, just remember him forever. Dude, As, dude. Stop enough arguing. Girls vote. Oh. Gay men vote. What about He's me? A good looking young Paisan. I'm questioning myself because of this tap dancer. <laughs> he was really hot. Um, sorry, Dad. <laughs> um, this was an amazing way to start the show because it was so surprising. I was like, is he going to sing? Is he going to be a comedian? Because I figured it was either one of those two. I also thought he was Indian and said, that's why we're joking around about India so much. I mm -hmm. said, Stephen, uh, uh, it's, we're starting off with an Indian uh, young man. And obviously it wasn't. We'd love to hear from the tap dancing uh, oh, yeah. New Zealand. <laughs> it's not New Zealand, is it? It sounds like an alien. A New Zealand Xander. A New, Le new Zealander. New Le Zealander. No, no, don't say new. Just New Ze Oh, it ain't you do say new. All right, where the truth hurts. Shout, shout out to uh Flight of the Concords, by the way. Do you have any idea what that is? <laughs> um, I'm gonna guess Top Gun. Oh my god. No, a Flight of the Concords was a television show. <laughs> about two guys from New Zealand trying to make it in New York as uh, singers. And they sang really funny songs. And both of those guys have gone on to great prominence. One of them um, ended up winning an Oscar for being for writing the, uh, the Kermit the Frog song in that Muppet movie, right? Yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, and then, I'm and then the other one, the other one was it the uh, voice of the evil like crab turtle monster thing in Moana. No, that's yeah. huge. That that movie was huge. I'm so shiny. No, that <laughs> sounded like David Bowie. That was that was the other guy. Um, can your kids rip into me for not knowing that, or is not it something what? not knowing that, or or is it something that? A lot I mean, of would my kids know Flight of the Concords? Of course, because I'm a good father. <laughs> if you've never watched Flight of the Concords, just look up the songs. The gimmick of the show. Okay. Is that they just go through the show as per normal, but then they will stop in the middle of nowhere and sing a song about what's happening. <laughs> and it is brilliant and fantastic and funny. Um, the very first song that they did was what? Either one of my kids, let's see if they can do What was the first song that they did? 
No, it was not robots, though that's pretty great. It was uh, about the, you're the most beautiful girl in the room. Oh! Squad room. Mm -hmm. Oh, they know the song! Mm -hmm. Can I ask one question? Was the song by Cover the Frog It Ain't Easy Being Green? Because that's that song has changed my life. Because I no, this would this would have been the within the like sort of modern Muppets pantheon in the last like 10, 15 years. Tina Fey Muppets? Yes. Yes, it was that movie where he it's like oh. Matt, it was maybe Man or Muppet was the song. I can't remember. I saw that movie with my blind grandma, and it, it was just me and her, and it it felt special that you know me and her were able to go out and bond. So That's pretty awesome. Yeah, that's what we do here. We touch people. Whoa, wait, wait. We touch people uh, emotionally. Um, <laughs> you knew well, Brett was going to take that somewhere. So I'm what the hip hop apotamus. My lyrics are bottomless, and then no. he freezes and, and then he freezes and chokes. Yes, he's the hip. That's one I, of their numbers. Is this guy who's like, who do you think you are? They're trying to rob him. He goes like, I'm the hip hop. It's they're the hip hop hip hop apotamus. And what else are there? The rhinoceros and the hip hopopotamus. I'm actually gonna check this out. <laughs> oh yeah, it's amazing. Um, coming up um, on this show, um, they did this weird thing, and now uh, this uh, it looks like it's gonna be it might be maybe a bad, maybe a bad, maybe something good. Um, maybe I'm, or maybe some kind of. It looks like some kind of cosplay is happening for sure. We have a girl there with elf ears, elf ears. looking all Zelda-ish and all the rest of that. So. Wow. Well, we'll be back to uh, either destroy it or praise it. Abstract that. You know, you get us in trouble That's when you my say dope that. Accent. It's pretty good, guys. And it, I'm just jealous of it. Uh, I'm the crocodile hunter, and I don't go for stingrays because stingrays killed me. Wait, was that Sean Connery? Or what, what was that? I don't that? know what that was. I don't know either. We'll be I don't back. like it very much, though. I think we should be moving on. Oh, no. We definitely are moving on. Sorry, India.